Alkaline zinc batteries have been around for 150 years and are now commonly found in those AA, AAA, C, and D cells that you find in every supermarket and drugstore. Well, the U.S. military has long relied on zinc batteries to power everything from flashlights to radios to torpedoes and satellites. Because zinc uh, batteries incorporate a water-based electrolyte, they are inherently safer than lithium ion, which use a flammable organic electrolyte. Plus, zinc is an earth-abundant, non-strategic material that is available worldwide. Why are lithium ion batteries rather than zinc based batteries in today's laptops and electric vehicles? The reason is that zinc based batteries are typically not considered to be rechargeable. The zinc electrodes that are in today's disposable commercial alkaline batteries, such as the AA and the AAA batteries, comprise zinc powder and binding agents. The ad hoc structure that results cannot evenly distribute the current under load. This eventually causes the battery to not fully recharge, or worse, form little zinc whiskers called dendrites. Now these dendrites can eventually grow long enough to pierce the separator and short circuit the battery. At the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory, we recognize that in order to make zinc-based batteries rechargeable, we needed a complete architectural redesign of the zinc electrode. Rather than using zinc powder forms, we design our electrodes to be three-dimensional, porous, and freestanding objects. We call it a zinc sponge. Our process is simple, scalable, and manufacturable. We start with a mixture of oil and water and emulsifiers, not unlike the ingredients in salad dressing. We add in zinc powder and let it stir until we get a uniform emulsion of zinc that can be poured into a mold and dried overnight. A benefit of this approach is that the size and shape of the mold will ultimately define the size and shape of the zinc sponge electrode that results, allowing us to produce cells for size and shape dependent applications. After drying overnight, the zinc sponges undergo a multi-stage thermal treatment where the sponge is exposed to inert and then oxidizing atmospheres. By redesigning the zinc electrode as a monolithic architecture, we increase the discharge capacity by greater than 50% relative to commercial alkaline batteries. More importantly, we've demonstrated unprecedented rechargeability of the zinc sponge electrode in prototypical electrochemical cells, including silver zinc and nickel zinc. So you may ask, how does the new design solve such an old intractable problem? It does so because the zinc is more uniformly reacted during discharge when it's being oxidized or corroded and charging when it's plated back as metal. And it does this multiple times during the cycling without launching those dendrites. We are in an exciting time for battery research. Our team at the NRL pioneered the architectural approach to the redesign of electrodes. The 3D sponge form factor allows us to reimagine this historic battery material, the zinc for the 21st century. We can now offer an energy relevant rechargeable alternative to lithium ion batteries. Just as lithium ion batteries continue to make headlines with fires and explosions, we continue to seek expanded support and partnerships to develop this breakthrough to move it to the next stage of technology readiness level and eventual commercialization.